Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do the premium problems of Lee Code on my Patreon, and you can join the Discord. Reach out to me. I'll try to respond to everyone. This is a problem called flipping an image. Uh, I did this in my algorithms course, but I think people like this format a lot, so I want to make sure I do all the Lee Code problems on this format, and it's easy anyway, so I can do it really quick. Given a binary matrix A, we want to flip the image horizontally and invert it, returning the resulting image. So what is a binary matrix? Well, a matrix, if you don't know, is a 2D array, meaning an array that has rows and columns, so like subarrays. So this is a row, this is a row, this is a row, and then each indice is a column. Uh, this is a matrix, and you can see it looks a little bit better when you kind of separate things like this a little bit. Um... What, what we want to do with this matrix is flip it horizontally and invert it. Okay. And it gives us a little bit of instruction. To flip an image horizontally means each row of the image is reversed. For example, 110 becomes 011. So you could see what's happening is they're taking this 110, they're just swapping. So, oh, I hit my mic. They're just flipping it horizontally so that everything on the right goes to the left and everything on the left goes to the right. It's like, boom. So you see that the zero goes to the left, the one goes to the right. Um, to invert an image means that each zero is replaced by a one and each one is replaced by a zero. So inverting zero, one, one would give us, you change the zero to a one, the one to a zero and the one to a zero, you get one, zero, zero, hundred. Okay. So how do we solve this? Well, we obviously are going to go row by row because, you know, we want to go piece by piece. Like, we want to turn 11, 110 into 100. And, you know, by the way, we can go through this example really quick. So, flipping this horizontally uh, is 0, 1, 1. Then inverting it is 100, like we saw up there. Flipping this horizontally is nothing. It does nothing. It's just 101 still. And then inverting it is 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. Uh, zero, zero, zero flipped horizontally does nothing either, and then change them all to ones. That's easy. Okay. So to do this, there's a little bit of a trick here. So example, for example, with this, what we can do is we can set pointers to the beginning and end of the array and only change the elements if they are the same at the same element, if the pointers are at the same element. Only invert it at that point. Uh, for example, let's do, you know, like 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so flipping this horizontally would be, you know, whatever it is in reverse. Three ones, one, one, two zeros, and then one, one. So this is flipped horizontally, and then this is inverted. Um, one, zero, zero. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. So this is the answer for this specific array right here, to flip and uh, invert it, right? Now, how do we get this by skipping these steps? We don't want to do this, right? Let's make it faster. If we set a pointer to the beginning and the end, like a two-pointer approach, and we move them inwards and check if this element is the same as this element, we only want to change them if they're the same. So one is not the same as zero. So we move the starting pointer inwards and the ending pointer inwards. These are the same. So we will invert these. We will make one a zero and this one a zero. Okay, move them inwards. Next step. Okay, these are different. Okay, these are different. So we're done. And let's check it against the output array that we got from doing it the whole old-fashioned way. Boom, exactly the same. So that's the idea here. It's just mathematically how it works. Um, so let's get going here. So a dot length um, i plus plus. So we loop through each row because this is a 2D array. Then we set our bounds up, our two-pointer approach up. So we say low is equal to zero and high is equal to a of i, the current row dot length uh, minus one for indices while low is less than or equal to high because we're going to check even if it gets down to the very middle index, uh, if it's like an odd number of elements, if we get the middle index, if they're the same, we're going to invert it still. So if A of I of low is equal to A of I of high, they're the same, so we just invert it. Um, so we just say A of I of low 
this is a little trick to invert things, is one minus A of I of low. And we do that because if A of I of low is a zero, one minus zero is one. So that turns a zero to a one. If A of I of low is a one, one minus one is a zero. So it inverts that too. Uh, and then we'll just set A of I of low equal to, I mean A of I of high equal to A of I of low because we just updated it. And that is literally the whole problem. You loop through every row, you do that. That's why it's pretty easy. Uh, just a little math trick for you, keep it in mind. Um, it's pretty cool. What is, what is the problem? Time limit exceeded. We did not update our bounds. Sorry about that. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't mess up. Find a video of me not messing up, honestly. There you go. Very fast. Uh, nice little scan through. Quick algorithm. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, if you, you could sit here and look into the logic of it, but basically it's just making sure the elements even need to be flipped. Um, you know, so like for example in this, there's not even a flip going on. And you could see if we had it... If we're only inverting the same elements, this would invert everything exactly how we want. So it kind of takes, uh, the two-pointer approach takes care of the flip. Because the flip isn't like that big of a deal unless they're, you know, every single element. You know what I mean? It just takes care of the flip faster. I'm, I'm making myself sound worse. But I think I explained it pretty well. Uh, let me know if you have a comment below. Uh, I did this in an algorithm. I have a technical interview study guide, so you can check it out there. I did it on a whiteboard and stuff too if you wanted more detail. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya.